Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here, and this is the Dual Boot series where we teach you how to boot from multiple operating systems. Now, if you've been following me so far, I've gone over a lot of things, so go back and watch previous episodes because you don't want to start on this episode. Today's episode is going to be a lot of fun, so go to my websites. First thing you need to do, pcmichiana.com. Scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner where I keep all my free software tools. Check them out if you guys haven't already. I, I've collected these over many years as an IT. Under the free hard disk utility, select Boot US Boot Manager, and for the Windows one, we want to do boot us.216 or whatever.exe. Open that, save it, scroll down if you're on Chrome and install it. If not, just install it the way you normally do. Click run. And the installation's really tough. Click next, yes, next, 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 and it'll install. And then select next again. After you've done that, just go to your start menu, select all programs, go to boot us and open her up. Select OK. And here you will have the labels. All of yours will actually say Windows XP. I ran this earlier to test the video. What you need to do is select partition and details and you want to rename your shared drive by right clicking and click change name to shared and press enter. You want to rename your Vista drive or whatever your new operating system is to right click change name and I named it Win Vista or whatever name you want. Press enter then select OK or store. Then scroll up and make sure that your labels are adequate. Now for the next step, you actually need a floppy drive and a floppy disk, or you need a CD-ROM drive and a burner. So what we need to do next is set up our boot manager. So select boot manager at the top, click install, select the three items we're going to be able to boot off of, and that's our Windows XP partition, which is WinXP, the C drive, WinVista, the V drive, and the floppy disk, because we want to be able to boot off the floppy if we want to. We're not going to boot off the shared drive ever, so you want to leave that unchecked, and then select next. Here, this lets you enter passwords. This is actually only for the licensed version of Boot US, so just click Next. On the startup delay, this will essentially give you a delayed time between your boot manager starting and your BIOS flash screen. You know how you get a picture when you turn on your computer? It gives you a certain amount of time to press whatever buttons you want. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for five seconds, just for experimental purposes. We can always change it later. And uh, the available time lets you choose that basically gives you how much time do you want it to have for you to select your operating system. I'll go ahead and leave it at 30 seconds. And for select for output start signal, it'll make a noise when you select your operating system. And I like to check off the select last booted partition because if I do a restart, what it's going to do is if you wait the full 30 seconds and you don't select one, it's going to select the last one you booted automatically. So I like to do that. I don't like to always boot to the single partition you know whatever the default is I like to have it boot from the last one I had on so then click next here for the method for hiding we want to hide primary partitions that way we don't accidentally delete or add things to a system partition while we're on basically make sure you can't install things on the Windows XP partition if you're running Vista and you can't install things on the Vista partition if you're running Windows XP so that's a really nice thing to have so hide primary partitions automatically but your logical partition your shared one will be shown and then select next and here's a really important part you want to make sure that you're you don't do MBR on boot disk one because we need to test this out first and make sure it's working properly this is a permanent addition to your master boot record so if if you're if you didn't set this up properly and you do select this and you try to boot up your computer, it could very well make it so you can never boot up your computer until you completely wipe out your hard drive and reinstall Windows and start fresh. So what we want to do is before we do that, we want to ins install on disk it because I'm going to install on a three and a half floppy drive. And uh, for those of you who don't have a floppy drive, you can create an image file and burn it to a disk. Now, if you don't know how to burn an image file, I'm going to do a separate video on that later. So we're going to do a floppy drive first, install on disk, select next. This is going to give you a summary, which I'm not going to go over because we just did it all, and then select install. It says warning, I'm going to format the floppy disk before I actually create the boot manager. That's fine. I know it's going to format and remove all my data. Select OK. See it, boot manager successfully installed on disk. Select OK. Go ahead and exit out of Boot US, and that, sadly, is all there is to this episode. Like I said, it's a little bit of a cliffhanger, but I don't like these episodes to go on way too long. But in the next episode, we're going to bring it all to a nice little close, and we're actually going to install our second operating system. So if you like this episode, as always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and hang in there, because the next episode is going to be a lot of fun, because you actually get to meet me. I know that's scary, but I have to show you how to install an operating system, which means I can't hide behind my microphone and screen anymore. Thanks again.